Hi everyone, welcome back. You found my YouTube channel about cross stitch. Um, my name is Mandy, and you can find me also on Instagram under the same name, Mandy Meets Stitches. If you're new, welcome. If you are returning, thank you for the continued support. Um, I enjoy, you know, getting on here and just sharing my projects every week or so. Um, and I enjoy the comments and the interaction from others. So that's fun. Um, I'm, uh, today is Friday, January 29th. This is plus two, 23, I think. And this is take two. I tried to film <laughs> last night um, and it turned out my camera was not recording. My computer does this weird thing where it says it'll, it's recording and then I go to play back the video and it has like a one second clip. Um, so that's what happened last night. Um, and I got frustrated, so I just went to bed. <laughs> um, and now I have a little bit of time before I have to go to work this afternoon. Uh, kids are at the babysitter. And yeah, so here we are. Um, like I said, it's Friday. I, um, I have to work all weekend, so I'm on here a little bit earlier than usual. And yeah, uh, my son, my four-year-old, started um, preschool this week, and it went really well. I was worried about the drop off, but it, it, he did great. He didn't have any, um, any real issues with like separation anxiety or anything. Um, and teachers said he did pretty good. He, you know, participated in, in class well and everything. He's a little bit behind, um, the other students just because, you know, he started halfway through the year and I didn't do a great job about working on letters and, and whatnot with him. So I had every, I had good intentions too, but I don't know, I just fell by the wayside with work and everything. So he'll get caught up. Um, he's a smart kid. And then otherwise, that's that's all that's been going on here. That's the only like real change um, from the daily in and out stuff. So I will just get into the cross stitch. I don't actually have any whips to show you because everything that I stitched on um, since I last recorded, I have um, finished and FFO'd. Um, so that's it's kind of just like an FFO parade. Um, and then I'll talk about some plans and I have a little bit of haul and that'll be it for this week. So probably a short video. Um, first, I will show you the FFOs. Um, let's see, these, this first one is a piece that I stitched last year um, around Valentine's Day and I just didn't, I didn't know how to, I wanted to finish it, fully finish it. So I didn't. Um, it's a heart and hand um piece i can't remember the name of the pattern but she releases these yearly for valentine's day um so that's this one sorry my light's a little bit funny from the um from the window over there i'm on the opposite side of the room from where i usually film i just didn't feel like sitting on the ground today and i didn't have a, a quilt out that i wanted to put up so get kind of a different background <laughs> um but back to this um Heart and Hand is the designer. I don't remember what year this is from. Oh, and it looks like I can see where I messed up on some stitching right there, huh? <laughs> I probably miscounted. Anyways, um, I finished it into a pillow. It's stitched on 18 count coffee tea dyed um, Ada that I, you know, was attempting to learn to tea dye myself. Probably stitched with a called for floss. Um, the kit came with some beads, so there's a little bit of bead embellishment and that. Uh, that big flower bead too. So I like it. Um, I finished as a pillow. I'm just going to put it, I got like a trench bowl for my hatch um, that my husband built and I will, uh, I'm just going to put it in there. And then another thing I stitched um, last year was, this is a Priscilla a Stitching with the Housewives pattern um, from their What's in My Cup series. I think it came out last summer um, called Honey Bee. It's stitched on 14 count chalkboard black with a called for DMC. I finished it on this um, like wood block that I think came from Walmart. And I kind of just threw together some little picks and with a bow, the ribbon came from the, the Dollar Tree. Um, so that was just kind of a cute farmhousey style ribbon. Um, so that's, that's that. It is on a magnet. So if I do want to change it out, I can. I don't know if it will or not though. Um, then I have this. I showed it to you as a finish last week, I think. It's February Cottage of the month. 
February Cottage of the Month by Country Cottage Needleworks. I was in the club from Happy Little Stitch Shop, which I think she's doing again this year, um, where we get you get one pattern a month in the, the Called for DMC to stitch it, and sh you can include the fabric in there too. Um, I stitched it on 32 count white chocolate linen. And yeah, I have most of the other ones done. I'm missing three months that I haven't stitched, um, but all the other ones are finished in a similar style, just with different colors, obviously. Okay, and then this one, I also, I finished the stitching on this the end of the year, December 31st. I think it was like my New Year's finish. <laughs> New Year's Eve finish, um, and so I just I FFO'd it. This is a Stitrovia pattern by by Stitrovia Emma Congdon in her um, book that came out over the summer called Cross Stitch for the Soul. Um, it's stitched on a piece of I think it's thirty two count, like a even or a linen that's opalescent. Um, with the called for DMC, the book in the book it's finished in the hoop, um, so I just kind of copied that and I put like satin ribbon. I wrapped the hoop with it, which turned out better than I thought it was going to. And the back isn't like the back looks pretty hideous, but um, I didn't know I I was gonna cover it with like paper, but um scrap of paper but I didn't have any like thick enough so I, I don't know I'm just gonna probably leave it like this and just display it so you can't see the back um okay and then I also showed you this as a whip last week and I finished it up this is a freebie from Fat Quarter Shop called Stitches from the Heart it's stitched on a piece of 16 count ivory ada with the most of the called for DMC I had to sub out one or two colors because I didn't have them. I finished it on matte board. There's a little bit of rickrack in there. Um, you can't see it too good. And then it's finished on this board or this, uh, yeah, little wood. I think it's supposed to be a dish that I got at Michael's that I painted brown. Um, yeah, that's... That's that. Another pillow finish that I, this is a pattern by Crochetta Gogo. She is on Etsy. Um, and let's see, I started and finished this last week. It's stitched on a piece of 32 count Lugana um, and S'mores by Be Stitch Me with a called for DMCs. Um, the pattern is called Amore Vero, I think. Um, and so just a little pillow finish. The back is pretty. Eh. I kind of, I like that the edges are finished if you do a slit in the back, but I'm not good at finishing the, finishing the back like that. So anyways, that's, that was a quick stitch. It took like a day and a half. And then um, this was another one that I started because I was off work last weekend and so I just I had some extra time to stitch. Um, it's another Stitching with the Housewives pattern that just came out. I think it's called Be My Valentine. I stitched it on 28 count black fill blend with the called 4 DMC. Um, that was kind of a tough fabric to stitch on. I like that it was black black because I feel like the colors pop a little bit better than on chalkboard. But I, and it was easy to, it was like, felt good in my hands to stitch on, but kind of hard to see the squares sometimes. And so one of these roses is like off a little bit. It's like some, some stitches are stitched over three or I don't know. But you can't really tell when you look at it, so. <laughs> It's finished on this, like, I don't even know what to call this thing. Lanes from Hobby Lobby. And the bow is, it'll do. <laughs> I, you know, I made the bow with some ribbon and yada, yada, yada. Um, 
one well, yeah, one more that I haven't showed you yet. This one I started like two days ago and was able to get it finished too. So it was a pretty quick stitch. Another new release, Stitching with the Housewives, called Be Mine. Um, stitched on a piece of 16 count earth by Be Stitch Me with mostly the called for DMC. Um, yeah, so I just mounted it on that board, added some rickrack. This board, I think, came from oh, probably Walmart. And so it is like you can hang it. I don't know where I'm going to display it yet. And I just added these little hearts. I, I kind of... Oh, and I changed, there's supposed to be chickens up here, but I took this heart from the Deliver and Ro Delivering Roses pattern by, the, by Stitching with Housewives. Um, and you can't see, there's little leaves and you can't see the green too well. I changed that color because I didn't like the steamed broccoli. Um, but, oh well. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. And that is all of my... All the stitching I did. This well, I stitched those two patterns, three patterns basically this week. So no webs to show you. Um, plans. I was gonna do a couple more Valentine's pieces, but I think I'm kind of burned out on that now. Um. So we'll see. I I had plans for. I had wanted to stitch this one. Um, by the stitcher hood on this piece of um, this is a V stitch me Ada called Lose Wine and I wanted to stitch it with the, um, this Blanc Etoile I just thought that would be kind of fun but like I said I'm a little burned out on Valentine's stitching so I don't know and then for the magazine monthly challenge group I was going to stitch um, that new it's in this this month's Just Cross Stitch magazine, the one by Autumn Line Stitchery. I think it's called Love Birds, where it's two uh, two uh, two birds and like a heart shape. I was gonna stitch that also in the same color of the Be Stitch Me Lose Wine. I was thinking about doing it in this uh, Belle Slaw. It'd be pretty because it's a monochromatic piece, but I guess I'll just have to see if it calls to me once month it started. Um, other plans, oh, Whipco pieces were called, or Whipco numbers for February were called, and I made two boards for Whipco, one of whips and one of new starts. I did miserably as far as uh, completing any of my goals for January, so I'm just gonna it's in the past and move on to February and see if I can get those done. Um, so the two that were called, and I have them both on there as finishes, were, um, sorry, were the summer piece by um, Fusions and Chocolate and the Just Cross Stitch magazine. I started this in Mania last year, and this is what I have. I think it actually goes this way. Yeah, I'm not sure the direction. But uh um so I I want I put this on there as a finish and I think I will be able to finish it. We'll see. Um because I also before I finish summer I kinda wanted to finish the spring of that one. So we'll see how much I get in on that. And the other one that was called was um Another Stitching with the Housewives pattern, uh, Long May She Wave. I have the called for, um, called for floss. That's as far as I've gotten. I've been having a hard time stitching on this because this, it's, this is a Monaco that I dyed myself. And I haven't stitched on Monaco other than this piece. And it's kind of thick. It's kind of makes my hands tired. So we'll see if I continue or how, how much, how far I get on that. I really would like to finish it this summer. 
before so I can have it up to display. But we'll see. Um, that's it for plans. I got a little bit of haul. Um, this came from Down Sunshine Lane. I got a cup. I mostly ordered because I wanted this um, Valentine's pillows by with a needle and thread. Mm. I had wanted to um, stitch some of these for this year, but I don't know if that I will. Um, and then I also got a couple other patterns. This is Chessie and Me. Let my examples shine. Sorry, the lighting's really bad. The Heartstring Samplery, Festive Little Fobs, um, Harvest Edition, The Yikes. Berry by Erica Michaels, Gary Berry, and Easter Babies Berry. I just thought they were cute little berries. And then I got some fabric from her too. They're all eight fat eight cuts. Um, this is a 32 count. Oh, they're all R and R too. Plum Street Paddock linen. I think this is a 36 count Nantucket brew. Not sure the color of this one. It does. It's not labeled, but I think that's also a 30, 32 or thirty six. And this is a vintage homespun thirty six. So just some kind of neutral colors. And then um, I placed an order with Stitch Toolbox. She's on Etsy. She had these. She makes these little floss tags that I just liked. And then I like I saw this um, project bag she had, which is the main reason I placed an order with a fun zipper pull, pretty back, Valentine's themed. And then I just I had my eye on this um, pattern for a little while. This print, more florals. So that's it. Quick little update. Um, I did do a giveaway last week last video and um teresa chukla you're the only one who commented that you wanted it so i if you uh, message me on instagram uh, mandy meet stitches if you're not on instagram just leave a comment and i will uh, get in touch with you otherwise but um yeah i will send that pattern off to you if you just send me your address what else um no giveaway this week just because i wasn't organized enough <laughs> i will be back um probably next weekend with another update. Hopefully I have a lot more stitching to show you. Um, I don't know about finishes because I did a lot of finishing this, this week. <laughs> so, anyway, thanks for um, tuning in and I hope you, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and leave me a comment or, you know, click that little subscribe button and I will see you guys next week. Have a good weekend.